Hey, what's going on? This is Pastor Kyrie Hawkins, all the way from Baltimore, Maryland, and you're watching Gospel Goodies TV. Gospel Goodies. Gospel Goodies. Gospel Goodies. Gospel goodies. This is Gospel Goodies. I'm Aaliyah Faust, and I'm joined by Kari Hawkins, uh, who has a new single out called He Promised. Welcome to the Goody Gang, sir. Hey, hey, how are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. Um, so we were just talking off air. Uh, we were talking about how I haven't talked to you since I lived in the Baltimore area, which was, I don't even know how many years ago. Um, <laughs> so it's good to talk to you again and see your face. Definitely is, definitely is. It's always good to see a familiar face. And, and last time we talked, were you a pastor at the time? Because I don't remember. But now I, you're a lead I pastor. System, right? I was an assistant pastor at the time. Um, I was with my grandmother. I've been with her since 2011. Um, and she officially retired about two years ago. So this October will make my second pastoral anniversary. Um, so I pastor in Baltimore, Maryland. I'm God's Way Ministries Church. Uh, 5521 Gist Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland, in the Park Heights area. We in the hood, but um, <laughs> I love it. I love my church. I love um, being in the community, and I love just this assignment of my life. That's really awesome. Congratulations. So are you guys in the building or streaming, or what's, how's that we look? We're back. Um, we're, I, don't call, I don't like the word small church, so I, I, I coined the phrase, we're a strong church. Um, but we have the ability to kind of social distance, but we've been back in since November. Um, oh, wow. Church mothers really haven't really started coming back until like February um, when the vaccinations kind of got more prevalent. But now, um, Easter, we were pretty full. Mother's Day, we were pretty full again. Um, my church seats about 150 people. So, um, you, you know, Pentecost Sunday, this uh, I'm sure we're going to be pretty full as well. But, um, you know, we still wear masks inside. I mean, we're, we're using wisdom, but um, and we still do streaming. Um, I, I was telling someone the other day, I said, we have to respect where everyone is, you know. Uh, if you want to wear your mask, wear your mask. If it's if you walking around outside and you don't want to wear it, then don't wear it. You know, but as for me in my house, <laughs> I'm going to wear my mask. <laughs> right. <laughs> same here, same here. Right. And the vaccine coming soon, too. Right. <laughs> um, so you have a new single out called He Promised. Um, it's a it's a very powerful song. Uh, we, we've been playing it for a little while, so I'm happy to have you here talking about it. Um, and it's especially powerful in times like we are in now, like we don't know what tomorrow holds and we never really know what tomorrow holds, but um, with this pandemic, with the, the lack of jobs, the, the jobs lost, um, social injustice, uh, we're running out of gas in the DMV area. Um, it's coming up to Philly a little bit, like it's crazy. Um, but God did promise us these victories and your song talks about um, what that looks like outside of uh, what our circumstances look like. So can you talk a little bit about what inspired that song? Um, Deuteronomy 24, and I'm paraphrasing, it says, for the Lord your God has gone ahead of you to give you victory against your enemies. And that's where the song came from. Um, the, the verse is, um, oh Lord, uh, the verse is the, is the scripture. And so it's basically encouraging the people, number one, that God's going to have, that's the verse, I just put my mind. I, and I wrote the song about that. <laughs> the verse says, God's going ahead of me to destroy my enemies, fighting for me, total victory. That's what he promised. And so throughout this pandemic, I kind of called it a pandemic declaration, but as we're turning the curve, it's still a declaration of remembrance because sometimes you have to, what the enemy tries to do is get us to focus on what's in front of us. You know, the lack of jobs, the lack of people, you know, the people dying, the lack of gas, all of the issues that the enemy tries to get us to focus on those things instead of remembering and focusing on what God promised. And so we have to, as, body, as a body of believers and even non-believers, we have to remember that in spite of what we see, God has gave us a promise. And the one thing about God that I've learned to be true in my 36 years of living is God has never lied and God has never failed. And so if God has gave us a promise and he can't lie, then in spite of what we see, it's got to come to pass. And so uh, just it's just an encouragement song. Uh, I, it encouraged me and I pray that it's encouraged every listener um, to just, you know, you know, you kind of just find yourself saying those two words. He promised, you know. Yeah, I love it. Um, like I said, it's so timely right now. Um, yeah, so timely. I'll, I'll tell you why it's so timely when we get off of here. But okay. um, <laughs> the song comes from the album you've been working on, Victory Is Mine. Where does that album stand right now? 
Um, it's basically just about done. Uh, we put a stop on production because of the pandemic, you know, coming together in the close, um, you know, the onset of the studio. So we just kind of put it on pause. We're going to pick it back up this summer, but um, I'm a very personable. I'm very personable. I love in-person things. So I didn't want to release the record until I was able to get on the road and go and um, you know, sing it in churches and sing it and and sit behind the radio, uh, you know, sit behind the, the, the microphone in the studio and the radio. So we're probably going to release at the top of the year, February, March of next year. We're going to release another single this fall, um, but we're going to work He Promise right now because that's still what it is. And um, I just got word today that it was in the top 10 of added radio songs, of added songs, um, added spin. So I'm excited. I mean, um, people are slowly but surely picking it up. Um, I'm excited about this record um, because it's a whole lot of songs of just pointing us back to God. Um, Leandra Johnson is on it, Crystal Aiken is on it, Brittany Wright, uh, Lawrence Flowers from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm excited to partner with uh, Writer's Block Records, Phil Bryant out of the DMV. Uh, and so I'm excited about what God is doing. And um, my biggest thing was I wanted to, to have a record where churches can sing, praise teams can sing, choirs can sing, and that I'm not necessarily um, did a record for radio. I did a record for the body of believers. You know, uh, uh, one of the songs on there, things are getting better. You know, one of the songs on there is, uh, is, is, is I'll drink from the well, talking about when you're depleted, about drinking from the well of the Lord. So it's, it's a hope a lot of songs in that'll encourage you and, and no matter where you are in life. Yeah. And I read that this album was special to you because of um, what you went through between um, now and your last release. So if you don't mind sharing, what did that journey look like? I mean, the, one of the biggest things, honestly, is just um, number one is pastoring. Um, I, I tell you, I kind of laugh when I hear that anybody says they want to be a pastor. If you hear anybody wanting to be a pastor or wanting to be a minister, to, they're, they're not ready. <laughs> um, um, it's, a, it's, a lot, it's a challenge. I'm, I'm a caretaker um, for, uh, you know, some people in my family. I've lost a few members of my family due to COVID-19 uh, and just the hiatus of just where do I fit in the gospel music industry? Because everyone is making music for for radio and everybody's, you know, I'm not a choir person, but I'm not a, you know, I'm not, a, I don't like all the worship, you know, everybody wants to put all these slow songs out. And it's like, oh my Lord, you know? <laughs> and it's like, where do I fit? And, um, and what happened was to be 100% honest with you, when I stopped trying to fit in and I got on my knees and really started praying and really started, um, tapping into my inner worship with, and my relationship got closer to God, the songs just begin to come. I kind of felt like David where I went through some experiences. It's just like, okay, God, I've lost my ability to write again. I've lost my passion for this thing. And um, as, I, as I begin to just my personal worship time, the songs just begin to flow. And, um, and here we are. Awesome. Well, I love to hear it. Um, Victory is Mine it, by Kari Hawkins coming soon. Um, he promised out now. Kari, can you let everybody listening know how to follow you and keep up with everything you have going on? Um, Just Kari is Facebook. Just Kari is on Instagram. Um, all of those, you get meet me there. You can get the information to my church and all those things. Um, I got my I got my V-neck on. It's 90 degrees today in the DMV, so it's hot. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was, uh, my publicist, she was like, you know, you're not doing an interview in that. I said, listen, it's 90 degrees outside. I said, if, if people not going to learn nothing about me, they're going to learn that I'm relatable and I'm real. So I got my V-neck on today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing wrong with a V-neck. <laughs> Thank but you, it's, it's a blessing to see you again. It's a blessing to be able to um, just talk to you and see that the Lord is still, um, you know, his hand is still on your life and things are still flourishing with you. I'm just excited. I mean, I told someone the other day, I said, the, the, the term millions didn't make it, but I'm one of the ones who did. It just, it hits totally different. And so our level of appreciation and gratitude for every single day that we're on this earth um, just hits a little different after what we as a country, as a nation, as a world have gone through. And so I admonish everyone to remember, in spite of what you see, that he promised.